Okay, this one is a really, really fun one. Um, I am doing um, another Sophie Ellis Bexter look. Uh, this is from the single Today the Sun's on Us. Um, and it really calls for quite a dewy skin, so I'm using um, Chanel, Chanel Vita Lumiere. It, it does leave a slight sheen on the skin if you don't powder it, which I'm not going to because this is all about the sheen, this one. The sheen and the sparkle. I think we'll take this foundation across the eyes because we can use our foundation as a bit of a primer. What that means is, because this foundation doesn't set matte, we'll be able to use we'll be able to use pigments and glitter on top of it, and it will give it will give the pigments and glitter something to grip onto. So you see, you get a little bit of a sheen with that. Like that finish. I'm using a cream colour base in. Root. This is made by MAC. And I'm putting it on with a brush, and all that's doing is going in the socket. You know the drill by now. Just in the socket. These are so easy to work with. You can put them on with your finger, but because I'm putting it, because um, I'm using it as a definer, I'm putting it on with a brush. But I'm actually using my 217 blending brush to put this on. So it's putting it on and blending it at the same time. If you really want to blend that top line, just run your finger over it. Now remember, these, these cream colour bases don't set, so if you want something that doesn't look glossy, if you want something that's going to stay on all day, if for example you're going somewhere where you won't have chance to touch your makeup up all day, say you're going to a wedding, you might want to use a different kind of cream cream eyeshadow. You can get ones that set, um, so that might be a better, better alternative. Right, we are using Reflex Pearl Pigment. This is from MAC. Surprise, surprise. And we're going to use it. What we need is a nice flat brush. So let's see what we got. Um, 239 from MAC will do. It doesn't look like I've got any clean ones. Number 5 brush from Maggie Hunt. This, um, these you can get from uh, www.maggiehunt.net. Okay. So, this is really important. Look at that lovely sparkliness. Right, use your brush flat. So, see that? Flat. Press it on. Don't dip your brush in, it's going to make a mess and this stuff goes everywhere. So, you're just going to push it on. There's no need to coat both sides of your brush. If you coat both sides of your brush, then all the stuff that's on the back is just going to fall off underneath your eyes anyway. So you might as well just load up the brush on one side. So this comes all the way up to the eyebrow. Stop and do the mascara. You can see.
concealer under the eye. And anywhere else you need it, of course. Don't worry if you get little sparkles under the eyes. It really doesn't matter on this on this specific look because it is all about a glowing, dewy skin. And I think little bits of sparkle underneath will only add to it. So a tiny bit of mascara underneath the eyes. Can you see? Right, the lips. I'm using um, a lipstick by NARS, I know that makes a change. Um, the colour is called Scarlet Empress. I'm using Beat by MAC. I'm going to slightly fill that in a little. actually um, gone over my lip line a reasonable amount there because um, this look is kind of all about the lips and the dewy skin and if you do it properly you can get away with it the key is not to put any gloss on the bit of the lip that you've gone over try and keep that reasonably matte and that way you won't get a reflection that you have gone over your lip if you have a really solid lip line it's a little bit more compli complicated to do because your lip line is still going to show through. Mine is reasonably flat, so if you have quite a flat lip, that will help. Okay, over the top, over the top of this lipstick, I'm going to put a little bit of Lancome Star Gloss. They don't make this anymore, unfortunately, but it is really sparkly and really pretty. And it is one of my favourite personal lip glosses. Now, for the finishing touch. Mixing medium is quite a specialised product. It tends to be um, for people that do body painting or airbrushing. Um, basically makeup artists so it might be a little bit more tricky for you to get hold of if you go to a Mac Pro store I know they do a mixing medium um, Charles Fox will probably do one screen face will do one right I am now mixing a little bit of our mixing medium with some of our sparkly pigment going to use another, I'm using a little lip brush to scoop it up on my brush and then I'm going to put it just in the corner. And there you have it. Maybe avoid the sparkly drips when you go out.